A lot of sun coming our way. I think tomorrow. Yes, it's uh, coming in pretty strong here. It'll be beautiful before we start to get some of that stronger wind building back in throughout the Bay Area. Let's get it outside after some showers very early this morning and then the cloud cover throughout the day. We do have a little window of sunshine right now coming through the East Bay here in Walnut Creek, currently at 62 degrees, a little bit of a breeze out of the West Northwest at 13 and through tonight, mostly clear and we'll have some 50s. Now as we roll through through tomorrow morning's forecast, there will be the chance of some of that patchy fog developing here throughout the Bay Area should clear out pretty quickly, though. We'll get some high clouds passing on through through the midday hours, and then here it is through tomorrow afternoon. Mostly sunny skies are going to be back for us. Morning temperatures back down in the 40s. This will put us to 43 in the Tri Valley Peninsula, 46 and for the South Bay, 45 over to San Francisco, 47 and for the North Bay, 42 temperatures tomorrow with that sunshine going to warm up about three to six degrees. So down here in the South Bay, this will put us at 67 in Milpitas over to Morgan Hill, 65 for the East Bay up to Antioch, 67 Pleasanton, 65 and Oakland, 66 Peninsula, 62 in Daly City down to Palo Alto, 65 San Francisco, even getting in on some mid 60s up to downtown 65 and for the Mission, 66 and for the North Bay, 68 here in Napa, 63 in Mill Valley. So really through the day tomorrow, wind doesn't look that gusty only out of the northwest here at 11. But by tomorrow night, that's when we're going to start to see some changes in the atmosphere, and it has everything to do with two different weather systems I'm tracking. So the first one is this area of high pressure building in the Pacific. That's going to give us the dry weather and that sunshine for tomorrow. But the thing that's really going to help to bring us this wind is this area of low pressure digging its heels in right across the southwest. That's going to help to create the wind because in weather, air flows from high pressure to low pressure. So it creates this vacuum effect and it's going to pull this air right across Northern California and kick up the wind. We really think starting tomorrow night and uh, getting the strongest here as we head into Thursday. So the wind tomorrow morning, not that bad at all. Then as we head through tomorrow night around 10, 11 o'clock starts to pick up 15 to about 25 for the lower elevations. Some of the mountains getting up to about 35. And then as we head into Thursday morning, strong northeast wind gusts, lower elevations, 15 to about 35 on average. But look at the mountains of the East Bay Coast and the North Bay. We'd see gusts of about 40 to 50. We stay with that strong wind through Thursday night, and then that wind should start to calm down as we head into Friday. Now, we could get some down trees, maybe some power outages with this wind. Uh, the other thing I want you to watch out for, though, is your allergies. We have pine, ash, cedar, and oak in the moderate category, so you certainly may notice that as this wind kicks up. Less in the way of wind on Friday. This weekend, dry and sunny, mid to upper 60s here in San Francisco and for the Inland Valleys, we are going to stay with 70s through this weekend forecast all the way through next Tuesday and uh, by mid end of next week, we may get into some more rain and colder temperatures, but let's not worry about that exactly just yet. Let's let's soak up that sun this uh, upcoming weekend. Yeah. I think my uh, my technical reaction would be woohoo. Yeah, there you go. There you go. We can high five on the set. All right. Jessica. Okay. Maybe. I'm glad right. I'm in the program. <laughs> I'm included. Thank you, All right, you got All it. All right.